Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D Fashion Solutions channel. My name is Afsha and today I'm going to be walking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the smocking on your 3D garment look realistic in Browsewear vStitcher. Most designers already know the main steps on how to create the smocking, but they're usually missing one to two very simple but crucial steps on how to make the smocking look hyper-realistic. Let's get right into the tutorial. This is the skirt that we're going to be working with for this tutorial. So you see I have my front and back skirt pieces. Then I have these two panels that are the front and back smocked yoke pieces. And then the front and back um, yoke linings. You don't always need a yoke lining in 3D, but if you're creating a realistic pattern, then you do. So I'm selecting all those pieces and adding them to my skirt clusters. And I want to make sure that lining piece is placed underneath that yoke, um, a smocked yoke. So doing the same thing for the back. Then I'm going to select those lining pieces and put them on a lower layer and then everything else stays on layer two. We're going to add all of our stitching next. And I'm hitting the dress button, but you can see it's kind of falling off of her waist right now. So we're putting it back into prepare mode and I'm selecting those top edges and I'm going to add about 40% shrink to give it that elastic effect and keep it up on her waist. I want to move the pieces up so they sit a little bit higher and then I can go back in with the styling to adjust the waistband a little bit. Now I'm going to select all those top edges again. Well, you only need to actually select them for the yoke, um, smocked yoke, and we're going to create our smocking lines. So I'm going to clone edges by offset by half an inch and multiply that times nine. So I have nine smocking lines and I'm selecting all of them and we're going to add 40% shrink to those as well. So if I hit dress right now, you can see it's starting to add that smocking, but it's not looking so great and that's because we need to update our grids. So the bigger pieces without smocking, I'm gonna keep those at 0.5. And anytime I'm adding smocking to a large piece, my grid is always set at 0.3. For a smaller piece, you might wanna go as low as 0.2. And now you can see the smocking really showing better. But there's a last minute touch we need to add to make it look really good. And that's going to be selecting the top edges of all of those pieces again. And adding force multiplier to the amount of three and to the depth of the entire waistband, which is five inches. And now you're going to see how good it looks. It looks much more realistic now and very clean. So that last minute touch is going to be going in to add a chain stitch and applying it to those internal lines that I created. So I can either apply it to each line individually or just marquee select and apply it to all of them at once. And there we have our smocked waistband. That's the end of the tutorial. I really hope that these steps will help you take your 3D garments to the next level. And remember, 3D Fashion Solutions is here to help you through your brand's digital product development journey. Please visit our website, 3dfashionsolutions.com to see some of the services that we offer and schedule your free consultation meeting. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.